By the end of this section, you will have fully derived the 12 by 12 beam element stiffness matrix. Now, this is obviously a main building block of our analysis. So having a good understanding of how this matrix comes together is going to leave you feeling like you're understanding really what's happening later on in our code. Now, we're going to start with a quick review of 2D beam elements. It's important to understand what the stiffness matrix is telling us and what these different stiffness coefficients actually mean. Once we understand that for a 2D element, um, you know, we're, we're probably going to have, I would say, 90 to 95 percent of the hard work done in terms of of setting up the 3D uh, element stiffness matrix. So uh, next we're going to take a deeper look at the 3D beam element itself. We're going to look at the various different degrees of freedom. Um, and again, we're going to see, we're really going to explore this idea of combining simpler element stiffness matrices together to build up that full uh, 3D element stiffness matrix. In the final two lectures, we'll finish out by building in minor axis bending into our stiffness matrix and torsion. Now at this point, we'll have completed a big milestone and we'll have a stiffness matrix that we can deploy later on in our code.